and then I bought the same collection prior to that on PS3, and then I got that collection again before I moved. Uh, when I was in between moving out, uh, when I was like in my in between, I had an Xbox here primarily, and I bought it for Xbox. Oh. It, you know, this collection does just feel like one of those collections, but like, <laughs> can oh, can you you can hear everything? Yeah, good. Um... <laughs> so you're not familiar with this game's particular 2001 jank, like how Sparta woke up to justice. Oh, uh, I am. <laughs> mostly familiar with this um look i don't look i don't really clock in the devil may cry for the uh the melodrama here but all right? it's so it's so magnificent like look at these masterful kung fu moves i was so confounded that we, it took us half an hour to figure out how to move, because the ideas of having to use the analog stick to move was so foreign. Is this the one with the Whoa, pizza? Down, or no. is that a different one? Uh, you, you know, you have to be more specific, because there's always fucking pizza. <laughs> there is always fu There's two things Devil May Cry always has. And it's pizza, because okay. DMC even has pizza. So, all right, so this game is technically not the first chrono chronological, No, it is right? not. It is not right. at all. Because technically, isn't it DMC, isn't Double May Cry 2 technically the first one? Three. By the way, he also will always get impaled. It's really hard to go back from three to one and two. Oh, uh, Why am I going to play two? I mean, a two's not that bad if you just use the gun all the time, right? It's actually pretty bad. <laughs> so he just, he just does not give, I forget, he does not give him, you can impale this man, he does not care. He just, he, he just shrugs that shit right the fuck off. Just, yeah, sure, put a, put a sword for me, it's fine. Right. Mother! Oh. Not gonna lie, she has a face only a mother could truly love. And it's know, his, man. It's, it's his mother, it, it's his mother's face. Yeah, Oedipus, man, Oedipus. <laughs> <laughs> Oedipus, my dude, Oedipus. That shit Did is. Did Oedipus smooth. have to do with Dante's Inferno? Because uh, then there we go, we got it. Uh, we cracked the code. Uh, now, okay. So you're not. It's not gonna take you long before you get to the part to where I played this game and went, okay, this is. And I'll tell you why I have such trouble with Devil May Cry. I, I'll tell you why. Oh no, no, it's really easy. It's really easy. Okay. Here's why. Because the game I played before I ever touched a Devil May Cry game was Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you do simp for Bayonetta pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, I played Bayonetta before I ever touched a Devil May Cry. So when They're I got very Devil May Cry, different. I was like, oh, no. Where's my dodge button? These fucking marionette things went from being, like, really lame to considerably creepier the older I get just from the way they move and the sounds they make. I don't know yeah, why think, that happened. I think a lot of that was once you got away from, like, the muddiness of PS2. Uh, which, look, here's the thing. I love the PS2. Oh, but there's right? some I, chunk. I, yeah, I love the PS2, but nothing... You will never convince me that games, uh, that uh, mini games in the PS2 look like ass. I mean, like, have you seen Resident Evil 4 on PS2 compared to the GameCube? Like, sweet. It is considerably God. weaker. It, 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 people really didn't like. It is. It is an amazing console. It's like it had like everything on it. You would be hard pressed to find a genre that wasn't fucking represented. But it was definitely the weakest of the three. <laughs> Yeah, no, the PS, the PS2 had, uh, it had good, but it also was, man, some games just, the thing, the thing is, it's weird, because, like, some games age really well, right? Like, yeah. if you take, like, Ratchet and Clank, that game, does, that game aged relatively well visually. Fucking right? incredibly Overall. so. But then you look at, like, God of War 1, having now, like, played it via an emulator at, like, high resolution, 
God, this game fucking eats. You did. You gave it everything you could to look as good as it could, and it just wasn't having it. No, the game eats. So, okay, so do you have, like, a dash? Is that what you have, then, to get out the way? Like, what if you have to, like, avoid getting hit? How? Uh, <laughs> it, while okay. you're locked onto somebody, you can roll if you hit a direction okay. and hit jump. And uh, you can obviously go backwards, too. Okay, yeah. I'm, start, I'm starting to see why Bayonetta... I'm starting to see why Platinum Games jived with me so much better. I like... I, honestly, I've grown to really like this style with um, Devil May Cry 5. Because it's still there. Like, it, it, Devil May Cry 5 is still very Devil May Cry. But they just figured out what works to the nth degree. <laughs> oh my goodness. This game. This fucking... This fucking... Oh, it's chunky. PS2 DMC 1 is chunky. This old ass PS2 fucking video game. Oh. Okay. We're doing that then. Oh cool. yeah. I forgot Devil May Cry loves its imagery. Man. Oh, oh it's, it worships it. Boop. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's just so unceremonious, it's like, here you go. Here's a sword, fuck You know face. what? I mean, to be fair, like, yeah, if you don't survive that, you're probably not worthy of it anyways. Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, oh, he's not, oh. Have... Oh! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. he got a little bit of a problem, though. Oh. Okay. You think Dante oh. give a fuck? <laughs> oh, that's... Can you imagine oh. what this scene was to a fucking 11-year-old? Oh, that's... That's impressive. <laughs> like, this that's... was my image of badass for, like, a good four years of my life, because, like... R just... impaled with a sword and just rises through the fucking hilt. Yeah, hey, Paris, even, yeah, no, this is my sword yeah, now. This is a cool it. sword. It's got electricity. Yeah, yeah look at this sappy do. I'm part, I'm part demon. I don't give a fuck. Stab me. Who cares? It's fine. I got this. I don't have any real competition mm -hmm. until my uh, brother shows up. Dante being the I turbo guess. fucking weenie he is, just has to swing around. You see, the thing is, a lot of my, like, knowledge of Dante, a lot of, like, my experience with Dante isn't through Devil May Cry, it's through my, re through my minorly short time with, uh, MVC3. That's a good place! That's a great place for it. That, where that Dante, is, that is where, modern Dante. Like, that is where Dante, yeah, where, that is... Where, Dan where Dante is the most bread and butter character. Hey, no. I, I would... Now he is the most bread and butter character in a fighting game imaginable. And that's not that's not me talking down. That's no, just that's he he got what he need to do and he know how to do it. Yeah, he's he's got the bread. He's got the he's got the Whoop. bread, the potatoes, no, my DT. little little bit of meat. You know, he's got a he's got a full plate. And you can <laughs> you really can feel the Resident Evil with the key hunting. I'm assuming. Oh, was it the dog? Oh, that's not this part oh. yet, is it? Uh, let me see the dog, and I'll, I'll tell you if that's it. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, alright, he in there. Oh, we got the grades. We got the cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucking cool. Oh, never mind. We got, we got the cool. We got Dole. Thank you for coming to me. We got Bravo. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's cheeky. I like that. That was cheeky. He caught. He caught. He caught you in the middle of an attack, man. You gotta. You gotta love AI when they can just catch you mid-frame. Oh, absolute. Really? That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. They uh. They yeah, started a really right. cool thing. Um. They did a. Uh, see, it even agrees with me. They started a cool thing. They really didn't perfect it until. I yeah. mean, they they start getting there with two, if I recall. Oh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, who? Who? who I think I know what. Down? I think I know what stopped you now. Oh, uh, you'll know. Oh, don't worry. You will absolutely. Well, as soon as you get to it, I will tell you. Yeah, it ended up on a, a boss on a video on a, multiple videos of boss fights that stop people relatively early in the video game, and I'm like, 
I'm like, you know what? I don't like the fact that I couldn't beat it. <laughs> but I at least it me. makes you feel like you're not alone in that struggle. Yeah, at least like at least at least it at least the boss at least at least in that particular case it wasn't oh, like Oh, I was supposed easiest, to take the thing. At least it wasn't easiest bosses, easiest first bosses in like a video game or some bullshit and they're like, "Oh, if you lose to this boss, you clearly just don't know how to play the game." Yep. What am I looking at right now? And why am I fighting a digitized version of a news anchor? <laughs> oh, that oh. fight was sick. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah right here. Yeah, yeah, this is it. This, this, this is what this knocked is me down to easy stopped. automatic. Yeah, this, this is this is where I stop. I told you, you no. Know, I, I don't make any fucking that. promises that this is going to be a one shot either, <laughs> but I can promise he go him going down. <laughs> I told you, I told you, it was it wasn't going to take you long to get to where I got stopped. This is it. This boss. Yeah. I don't. And the thing is, I've been told this boss is either super easy. Or he is a decent starting challenge. He's... Nobody's been able to... Now that we no got a couple character easy. action games under our belt as a genre, he's a bit of a different beast. Well, first fucking boss fight of the genre? Pretty fucking tough. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need you... I'm gonna need you to, uh... <laughs> to handle this. This is the first try. For, first try. First try! Boop. Oh, okay, first try. Yep. I was, I was halfway joking about first try, but, you know, <laughs> clearly first try. See, now yeah, I, I, I forgot the timing really isn't that tight for knocking the... Like, if you time it a little bit tighter, you'll do... Or you'll do a shit ton of damage with this fireball, but when he's, like, firing that fireball... If you interrupt him, it does damage to him. And if you knock it back into his face, it does a shit ton of damage to him. That's what I was trying to say. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Devil May Cry, tits, they're both... Oh, are... yeah! Oh! Oh, he comes back. No, no, you fuck right off! With this bullshit. Oh, wow. Come... Oh, uh, yeah, no, this would kill me. <laughs> it did kill me. <laughs> See, I did real badly there. That would have killed me. Fuck that. You oh, are. that right. I don't want to continue. I'm, I'm going to reload my save because I'm at the start of the fucking level. So, cool. So, funny story about, like, memory cards and shit, right? So, like, years ago, I lost, like, most of my shit, right? Barring, like, a handful of PS1 games, a handful of PS2 games. Yeah. And surprisingly, and I, I say surprisingly because I'm surprised it crossed my mind. Are you gonna be okay? I don't want to like distract you. So Ooh, you no, you can keep going. <laughs> See, there's a fireball. <laughs> there he goes. That's what you do. <laughs> Just fucking jump slash him. I don't care about being yeah. cheesy. I want to put his ass in the ground. I, I didn't. It seemed like you were putting most of your processing power into that boss fight. I was, I was concerned. Oh, I was, I was still listening. Woo. Uh, there was. Uh, I don't know why I did this. Cause. Uh, it was I was in sort of a rush at that point, and I managed to hold on to my memory card for PS2, right? Don't know oh, why I did it. That's a yeah. good thing to salvage, though. So, like, I didn't, like I said, I didn't keep much, because I had to get rid of, like, 90 I got rid of, like, 90 percent of it. I kept, like, one or two PS1 games, and then, like, a handful of, like, PS2 games. I felt like, okay, I don't want to have to replace those. Or just games I was attached to. And that was about it. And, but when I finally rebought my PS2, I was going through my bins. I found my memory card. I'm like, ah. physical media, man. Physical fucking media. I I don't fucking remember. I gotta bring this oh tablet. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of a wander going on right now. Oh no. So all right. So I want I want to share with you a little tip. That mm -hmm. I've had to do since I came back to YouTube, right? This is oh, yeah. this is the truth. So like something I have done, and I don't usually mention it, is like, bro, when you hear me say my notes, I, I have to check my notes, bro. That's You're cutting FAQ things, aren't you? No, that's an FAQ on the other on my other oh, screen, like that, <laughs> like dead ass. No, yeah, dead no. ass. Fuck that. It's gonna be somewhere really obvious. Uh, no, that's it's gonna end up being somewhere really <laughs> obvious. I'm just gonna, like, I'm a fucking idiot. 
Don't don't feel bad. We all do that. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Uh, I've. I speak of the devil. Oh no, I'm not. I don't feel like dealing with you right now. Okay. I I've done it. I was demonstrating something in nine, right? And it was um, it was that you. It was that oh. there was one. God damn it! I know exactly where I'm going now. There's one boss that you can eat. Yeah, I'm familiar. What? <laughs> you can eat them. The problem is, I demonstrated eating them, but I forgot to steal from them. So oh! I beat the boss. I beat the boss, and I'm like, and I'm like, that's how you eat the boss. And I'm like, fuck, I didn't steal anything, did I? Oh. Shit. All right, one sec. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh shit! Boss fight. Oh. Or mini boss. Fuck. Is it is it a lion? No. Is it, is it, it's not a lion? Really? Not exactly. Aw, that's no fun. There's a lion. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. It's a panther. The oh, was it the dog? The dog? The dog. He's gonna, he's gonna make you work. Yeah, he do. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. oh, I know there's. Okay. I don't remember. I know there's a trick to him, and I do not remember. Okay, now I'm a little bit into the stage, so that's we're gonna use a yellow word. <laughs> now, now you're gonna sacrifice. So jump slash is only a jump slash is not. Oh, what the? F what am I watching right now? What is this action game? Oh, I just... I just picked up what the game was putting down. What is this proto Bayonetta gameplay I'm watching right now? Same director? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Was that a self-destruct okay, okay. move? Was it? You tell me. You're, you're it might have been. Oh. I've never seen that before. If it was, I've never seen that before. Well, shit. Oh, that's right. That's what I had to do. And now I go into the room with the smiling lady. Which is right here. Oh, wow. This Impale really her. Is, or this really is... A re what the, the fuck? The Resident <laughs> Evil is still here. Like, this is still half Resident Evil in some ways. You yeah, just have- you are a much more fighty boy than anybody in Resident Evil is. Until 6. <sighs> and 5. Until six. Oh, okay. Until good. Chris about... punches a fucking boulder. It's the Chris. Although this is- this is a little... off-putting, not gonna lie. Is this- is this another- another mini-boss? Is this another- this, this- this isn't- this isn't- this isn't Mundus. No, this- Pretty sure this, this isn't Mundus. <laughs> Nope, this this uh this ain't a mini boss. This this is the proper real deal. And he wants oh, to have a money. proper fight. I'ma let you I'm gonna let you power up right quick. Before we have our big boss fight. This isn't gonna come back and bite me in the ass like nah. hours later. Not at all. No, I mean this this is like this is early two thousands at its at its peak, man. Big old shoulder pad sword as large as he is. I feel like I'm fucking playing, fighting a World of Warcraft villain. Fucking. Oh, he's got the cape? Bruh. Oh, is, yeah. This is early 2000s at its finest. This was the start of the best trend Devil May Cry had that Devil May Cry, or DMC Devil May Cry fucked up. That was really the issue with that game. The fucking one on one fights with the guys who are you, but as good, if not better. Right, the skill checks, right? So Real skill proper check. skill check. Gene, like, this started the trend. Yeah, because DMC Devil May Cry didn't really do that. It, the bosses all were kind of very samey. They were all very much like, expose were, weakness. Yup. Hit weakness. Kill and boss. That's, oh, fuck. Yeah, he, uh... He's giving me the fucking throwdown. Yeah, he's giving you the business. I got one of these. He is. I ain't above it. I've never understood that logic of like 
giving me the option to use items and then penalizing my score for fucking using them. Then why the fuck have them? Especially when your score is kind of important. Yeah, like, Bayonetta did the same dumb shit where it's like, oh, if you use items, you reduce your overall score. Then why the fuck did you give them to me? Don't make them an option. Yeah. If I'm if if me using them to win is just gonna land me in cardboard bottom tier. Especially like it would be one thing too if you could use items if they didn't penalize you so hard for continuing too. I, I would yeah, honestly I mean, the continue system's the biggest problem in this game. By like a country based, right? mile, you yeah. Have to, you have to use item. You have to expend a resource to continue. Please. This was that era, Capcom, the Maximo, um, the oh, like. Oh, okay. No, where okay, you, I don't want to play. At least they don't, don't charge you now. for fucking saving. By oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh time. Oh, I love I love time in this video game. You know, I, I, I say that like I'm against time limits. Time limits have never been an issue for me in a video game. Unless unless it's a skill-based time limit, then I'm usually like, well, why is that a thing? You, you want to know what time limits in video games didn't usually bother me? All the all the time limits in uh, point attacks and fucking to in Tony Hawk games. I was always like, lol. I don't need that much. Oh, you, you have three minutes to get 100,000 points. I'm like, lady, please. Oh, yeah, that was a suicide thing. I just... Yeah? It, it, it tries to grab you. Okay, so when it's red, you just gotta dodge. Yeah, just dodge. But I still gotta oh, move and get it. rid of this fucking thing. Yeah. yeah you, I think I'm... Of, I'm 95% sure of where this goes. I don't know if I like that. 95%? Yeah. No, there, there, I, I do have a, a little bit of concern in the back of my head. Because it's not 100%. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I mean, so you've already tanked your score once, so I mean. I mean, yeah, like can't... it's. I mean, well, if I if I eat it here, I'm gonna reload the save because it's like, oh hi. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Fuck off. Wow, he he was determined, dude. He was really trying to stop you. Oh I don't wow. Honestly, know actually... if this is the fastest way. That's not right. Oh shit, nope, okay. Second check. Second? <laughs> oh no. Yes, got it, okay. I knew it was in this room. And that's the stage. Oh, well, I don't think I don't think that's reasonable to give you an A. I'm sorry, I don't think that- I fucked, I did pretty good. Cause you know, when I think Devil May Cry, I don't- I Oh man, Air Raid's sick. I don't know why I didn't use that more growing up. That's just convenient. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a lot of shit that, like, growing up, you just don't think about in video games. Right? Oh, it's it's incredible. Right? Like, like, all right. I'm a I'm a out myself on this. Right? Like, I'm the RPG maniac. Right? I'm the guy. I'm that guy. You right? didn't use elixirs, did you? No, I never understood the concept of like grinding. Oh, you know that, that that's better than my active choice not to no like the concept of like staying somewhere and leveling up never clicked in my head no i, I could believe that that's a pretty fair well because it seems like so counterintuitive why would i want to keep i i should be going forward why would i want to stay yeah. here so like i would just die like i would get i would get to like a boss and just die over and over and over again. and then i was like okay so what and then i was like wait a minute so if i just fight these guys for a while i'll get level ups and then the level ups make me stronger and then i'll have money to buy more gear and then i can beat the what Whoa. oh <laughs> uh, this, i don't like this game design this is not this game design i'm okay with what is what is game design and are you like boxed in because i see the blue shit yep you're boxed in. i'm boxed in until i win Oh, oh wow. killed me through the DT. Alright, I'll take the reload because that wasn't that far in. <laughs>
weighing your options. It's like, yeah, uh, I guess. You Actually, fine. Eh, fuck it. I know it's really, what really, fucking, fucking lights my fires. Really just sets, 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 sets my bowel aflame, if I may use such terminology. You uh, may, you may. Uh, the our overlord at Sony since they decided to shut down those two, uh, those two stores, and this is tangentially connected to the PS2, but technically it's PS1. So Nick, two uh, two years ago, I bought a little game called Suikoden 2. Oh wow! Yeah, I bought Suikoden 2 about two two ish two or three years ago. I bought it. It was a hundred and forty dollars when I bought it. Okay. A little pricey, but you know what? Worth it. So, did you Oof. know? Did you know that since the the eShop now is being closed and you could buy Suikoden 2 for PS3, for it's like going up bucks? in price again. Oh, oh, go! Oh, no, 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 sir! We know saying it's going up just implies it went up a little bit. Uh, Suikoden 2 went from being a one hundred forty dollar game, like I bought it, which was oh, complete, no. by the way. Yeah. To being a near four hundred dollar game. Holy shit! So yeah, and I, I think I dodged. A, I think I dodged a yeah. double size bullet. <laughs> I mean, dodged Sony just gave a big emulate everything. Fucking oh hi! I forgot you're back. Oh oh really? Yeah. So good. We did it three. Wow. Okay. You know what, Hideki Kamiya? I I see where you got this idea from. This wasn't just bad game design in Bayonetta. You just you no. He liked his game. refights. He likes his refights big time. <laughs> Hideki Kamiya, Hideki Kamiya got to Bayonetta and was like, you know what I liked about Devil May Cry? Making players fight the same boss more than once. Cuts down development time. Fighting, fighting clowns? Oh. Uh, I, I, at half health? You brave. Ooh. <laughs> you, oh, the reason wow. I'm still fighting him is to hopefully get more. Oh, okay. This is intense. Oh, it's, it's bleak. Because <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's happening again, Rizzo. Oh no. I think I'm going the right way, but I am not sure. Oh, oh okay. Oh, wow, wow. That did a lot of damage. Good lord. How are you lost in an action game? It's it's a Resident Evil game. It's an action game. It's an action Resident Evil game. How are you lost in a Devil May Cry puzzle game? Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh. Holy shit. I I I fucking you went guessed. some real wrong ways. You really you guessed. Well, this I kind of this, well, this, I, you you get you don't get to claim that this was intentional. This I, you gotta be. That was my intention when I realized I had nowhere else to look, so it had to be in this area. So I have to interact with everything in this area. You guessed. This was a guess. This was purely, purely a guess. You had no idea where you. You have no idea where you're going. <laughs> surprisingly, you know, I say surprisingly, but then I look up Xenosaga and I realize that the second game goes for around 80. Woo! I know, I think the first one was like 50 I sold it for. Uh, like, yeah. I, I think that like, franchise at this point is just pretty... Yeah, it's inflated now. Yeah. My... By the oh, way, you heard on, about the, really? you, you like them boss R refights? R really? Like, God, now I know, <laughs> now, now I know where he got it. Like, he always had it. Like, Bayonetta one outright infuriated me with this shit. Like, are you almost done with the? Is that why he's? Is he running out of content? Is that what's happening here? Like, is the game almost over and he's like, I gotta pad this shit out? Not even close. Like oh. Hideki Kamiya, like Hideki Kamiya was like, "Hey, what if I took arcade game logic and threw it into my console action game?" I have some good news though. Oh, is he is he actually gone? Oh, okay, His ass no, ain't no, coming he's... back from this. Okay, cool. 
See, that, that's why I forgot. It's not, he's not dead till you actually see him die. This doesn't go with the bayonetta where you kill it and then you just fight another one of it. No, you haven't killed him yet. He's very tenacious. Oh, and uh, on, uh, on another tangent, uh, NTSC Xenosaga 3, April 3rd, sold. Disc only, by the way. So you know this is about to be fucked up. Mm. 185. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 185. Uh, 1 through 3, complete, sold April 2nd, 305. So all three, complete in case, 305. You are... Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's fucking. Uh, you know, it's. I'm pretty happy this, I got this, out of game is, collecting. I'm not. That, these are. These aren't leaving unless I have to get rid of them. And if I have to get rid of them, I might just. I might just have to bury them with me. <laughs> <laughs> Take them to the grave. Uh, my last will and testament will be. Look, uh, if you're not, if you're like, someone's taking them. You're not gonna leave them to like your family. No, nope, they no. Mm -mm. I'm they wouldn't good. respect it enough. Uh, but that here's the thing, though. Like when I think of Devil May Cry, I don't think of what this is, though. Like no. Devil May Cry, all I think of is like Woo combos. Pizza time. Yeah, combos, pizza, and like Dante taking oh. a massive implement through the chest or something. And I'm gonna redo gone. this. By the way, now we have a time limit puzzle. Oh, cool. Those are my favorite in video. That was the wrong way to go! I've got to restart it! <laughs> I don't know why I'm speaking with those inflections. I'm sorry. Uh, so, I just you're, snapped. You're, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the moment. This is... This is the... I, I, I love that. how... Uh, it's infinite ammo, right? Like, there's not like ammo. It's limited. the time! Oh, the... All oh, right. Oh, I made it! Are you familiar with the are you familiar with the concept of grading? Yeah. Video game grading. Wait. So it's What do you mean? Okay. Okay. So grading is there's a company I think they're called Wada. I forget I forget their full name. So basically they you send them a game. You pay you have to pay money. Oh, yes. Door. Okay, I'm familiar with and it they, now. They put it in like an acrylic box and they give it a rating. Yep. The are you're going to go Super Mario that just sold for 600,000? Yeah, people are like, why did it sell for so much? I'm like, well, one, the guy had to cover, the guy wanted to cover his fucking grading costs that he paid to get this fucking thing graded. How expensive is that? Uh, how familiar, how familiar are you with NES? Shit. Um, this is, I mean, I grew I'm up with get, it. So, like, uh, there were two versions. Okay, I say two versions. Wait. There were two box versions of Mario that existed at that time. Oh. Um, there was one. Okay, so there was two. One held up. One holds up really well and the other one falls apart. Um, the one that falls apart is known as a sticker seal. So they, so those copies, you, they, they would not be plastic wrap. They were just a box. It had a sticker that sealed the box closed. So there's a sticker seal version and then there was the less printed or the less uh, made uh, sealed copies that were actually sealed in like plastic, like like games are these days. They were box sealed in plastic. Those oh. were not made. There were not ver. They those were made in less. The sticker seal were more common. Technically, okay. Um, than those. So the one that was sold at auction was a uh, actual shrink wrap sealed okay that it was a sealed one so immediately plus, more valuable it, it was more valuable plus it was graded at like a 96 which look i'm not going to get into whether or not i think grading should hold so much value because that's a whole can of worms it. it's but i i will say at 96 the you're the only way the only way you could get a grade better than a 100 the only way you're going to grade better than 96 is if like the game literally came off the production line and you handed it to the person at WADA. Like, I don't, things are weird right now, so I can't really say either way. 
No, I will. No, no, no. Don't worry. I will. They're not. But They're like, not. Cause some you're, games you're, have really gone up in value. You, your investment is predicated on the notion Shit nipples! Of people... Jesus Christ, Nick. Really? The platforming's hard, man! Oh, I you're, fucking you're, hit on. Your investment is entirely predicated that the devs never, ever, 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 ever re-release it. Yeah, oh, yeah, pretty much. But then again, that, Mario's been released, re-released how much? But then again, that's a fringe case. That's that's really not this, the norm. This, yeah, this, yeah, this is not the norm. Uh, look, if someone wanted a copy of Mario to play... I know a dude here in Ohio that has, like, 50 carts that he's still trying I'll, to get rid of, all right? If I hadn't already sold my collection, I'd probably have three I could just offer somebody. I think I gave you just a copy of Mario 3, because you were like, yeah, I don't have any NES games. I'm like, do you want a copy of Mario 3? And you were like, I why think, not? I think, I think I own the majority of your SNES collection. <laughs> now, I mean, you bought most of my SNES collection. <laughs> Very few. You, that and, like, a couple of my bigger ticket uh ps1 games well i mean i think it i can't remember there was I mean, they went, one they went i can't to... remember there was one there was one snes game that you contacted me about you're like look i'm gonna sell it do you want it demon's crest put it up yeah it was demon's crest you're like if you want it you're you like, specifically told me if i was going to go sell that to let you know demon. all right so this is these are power-ups right so he gets no that's a straight up like, new weapon oh new weapon oh Oh, punch, he gets, he punchers. Punch. Yeah, this wizard cast the uh, punch wizard cast this. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, we. Oh, wow. Wow. He dealt damage, though. We playing on hard mode? I mean, this game was pretty fucking hard on normal. Oh, right. This was before the uh, days of the 360 where everyone said play the game on hard mode because normal mode's too easy. No, also, just the only one on, on by default is normal. <sighs> yeah, I didn't like the way you switched in DMZ, Devil May Cry. Switching was weird. I didn't like it. It didn't I feel, it didn't, it didn't really feel natural. I fond of it after some controller rebinding. Yeah, you can do some might... pretty cool shit in that game. The fuck are we fighting? It's a big ass bird. Guru, what are you doing here? Birds with a fucking grenade launcher. The son of Sparta challenges the darkness for this. Oh. Lock off, better face. Was this rated M? What the hell? Yeah, it, this was before people swore in video games for a lot, man. Like, this, this was. Pro Dante still doesn't swear that much. That was why. That was one of the big issues with DMC Devil May Cry. Dante. Do you know the core tenets of Dante? Of, like, literally his goal when he was made as a character. What they wanted to do with him. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that. They want him to be cool. They want him to be stylish. They wanted him to be family... F maybe family friendly is not the right word. But they wanted him to be really cool without any of the stereotypical hang-ups. No swearing. No drinking. No smoking. He was oh. his entire thing was to be fucking baller as hell with none of the stereotypical shit that makes people look cool in games or in media. And then Ninja Theory got a hold of the game. Yes, and was like, Whoa. that was the biggest problem with DMC Devil May Cry in terms of characterization. However, I think Devil May Cry Five made gold with that by giving it that personality to Nero, because I there is room for that kind of character in Devil May Cry. It's just not Dante. It's literally yeah, yeah. against Dante. It's the opposite of what he's supposed to fucking be. Yeah. And at least, at least I think him saying Dante. shit and ass is fine, because, I mean, for Christ's sakes, this barely count as a swear. I mean, and plus, this Dante didn't start out with brown hair, get a, get a white wig, and go, ah, maybe next time. No, he, it's specifically the opposite of that. He says, fucking, not, not in a million years. And then it's not even honest, because when he gets his DT, his hair goes white. And by the end of the game, I think it's fully white. Yeah. It's the, like, oh my god. Like, it's... <sighs> and that's the game I like. <laughs> I, I, I can't I knock it. It's finished. just, it's got issues. But it's a good game. People yeah, are way I, too I fucking hard it. on it. <laughs> oh, that's, 
And you know, I'm more, I really don't like clowns, but this shit, this is not, this is not kosher. This is. We got tier two now. Here's what I don't get, right? And hear me out on this, right? So they have like, so they're working on a Resident Evil game, right? Yup. And they have, they have all this shit. And then they're like, eh, eh. I want to make an action game. And they're like, well, okay. And he's like, can I also use those assets? And they're like, I'm going to guess they were just like, yeah, just take everything you've done so far. Well, Shinji Mikami does shit like that. He probably just saw what they were, they were making was like, this isn't that? Resident Evil, but it's really cool. Here's, just take it all. Just take it all and go make this. Yeah, can I, can I use that? Can I, can I take that? Is that, is that okay? Can I use this? This looks cool. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What's uglier? God of War 1 or Silent Hill 2 after the remaster? All right. So I'm a complicated person to say that to. Oh, Because the remaster oh. after the updates on the PS3 is pretty fine, honestly. It's not ideal, but it's it's better than it, no it, Silent it, Hill 2. After the it, it, Once the fog got restored. Yeah, it, you'd much rather play that than shell out the money for a new for a copy, basically. That's what, here's the thing, right? Like, this game ate pretty well. But this is the weird thing about the PS2, right? Because I, I blame the PS2 for this. PS2 had this issue where, like, certain 3D shit aged really well. I'm looking at you, Ratchet and Clank. The more cartoony could... and stylized it was, the better it did. Yeah, but then again, you do God of War. Looks and, like dog uh, shit. Oh, it looks aesthetically, crazy. it's bad. I mean, I I know the um God of War two shows that like there are parts of it that like that they can do, but God of War one specifically, just really rough. Yeah, really, it's, oh, uh, it, it's really bad. It's so ugly. I'm honestly more. I'm honestly upset thinking about it now. So thanks a lot for that. I now have to relive that. You brought it up. It, 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 here's the thing. All right, let me let me put this into perspective. Year. Like, all right, I didn't get a PS2. I forgot. This what is a Lost you? Woods section. A Lost Woods. Are, 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 do you play Zelda much at all? Oh no, not that. Do 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 do. Oh no. Oh really? yeah. I didn't even get a PS2 after the You wanna know when I got a PS2, Nick? Mm -hmm. Um so like me and my brother, we had a Wii and we got really sick of it because the consoles did not give us anything worth playing. So uh, me and my brother were like, hey, you know, we got some cash. How about me and you go have these on a PS2 and we pick up some games? And he's like, for real? I'm like, yeah. So we went, we bought a PS2, we went to GameStop, and we went and we bought, and bought a handful of games. Um, I picked two games. I got God of War and Final Ooh. Fantasy X. Okay. So I was like, all right, for once, I'm actually going to beat something before I move on to the next. So I picked God of War to beat, because I'm like, Final Fantasy X is the game I'm going to dig into. God of War shouldn't take me that long. Yeah. X is so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> ten is a little bit. Ten is in, ten is infinitely a better experience. Yeah, I mean, like I like God of War one back in the day. Like it was pretty fucking cool. But it took me a few to beat it because it was also a little chunky. It's incredibly chunky, and in, and button mashing sequences are stupid and should never be in video games. But fair enough. Don't, don't, don't hinge my ability to survive a segment because I can't button mash hard enough. That's fucking dumb. I still stand by that. I will die with that. I'm taking that with me to my grave, along with my copy of Suikoden 2. That's going with me. Oh, God. That's... I didn't see where it went. Oh, no. Uh, let's hope. So, so, so he was just like, hey, you know, this That's is... That's not good. You Fuck. can always ask him on... You can always ask him on Twitter. I'm sure he won't immediately block you. You know, I'm gonna. So video games, huh? <laughs> I, I think Zelda did it better. And I'm not even like that big of a fan of Zelda. Believe me. They're fun. Um, I, I Breath of the Wild's my favorite one. Uh, you know, before okay. the first one, or actually, I don't know. There's a debate between the two. 
But like, I'm the fuck, fucking weirdo who loves Zelda 1, so, I mean, I don't think I have a traditional opinion. I just like the sense of adventure. You go find maps to go through, and you might not even be in the right cave, but you're, or dungeon, but you're certainly gonna go through it, because why the fuck not? Brett, see, the thing is that Breath of the Wild only really does it for me, because I play it not thinking it's a Zelda game. It's the best Skyrim I have ever played. <laughs> or Elder Scrolls, excuse me. I said that at launch. This is the best goddamn Elder Scrolls game that's ever been made. And I stand by that. Yeah, it really... It's... If you play it, if you play it under the impression that it's not a Zelda game, it is a fantastic action. It's a fantastic I think it's still a good movie. Zelda game, but, like, it is the best goddamn Skyrim. Or Elder Scrolls, excuse me. Uh, I, 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 I'm becoming a grandpa. I'm calling all open world fantasy games fucking Skyrim. Well, Next I mean, all consoles are going to be Sony's. No, they'd be Xbox. I think Xbox is more than good. I won't call them Nintendo's just on principle. <laughs> My mom bought me a Nintendo, but you have a PlayStation. That's what I said. I, I it's uh, I will say my favorite time in gaming has been uh, uh, I did not see which way it went, so I'm hoping you caught it. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck it went. So I'm just going to take a guess, because I went the other way last time, and it's been the same both times. Yep, that looks like I took chose right, because it faded to white. Perfect. Fantastic. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. You know, that's fair. Uh, hmm? His, his big brother was just a boss a second ago. Yeah, mm, do I want to give him credit for original enemy design? No. No, I don't. No, I'm still not. I'm still not giving. He's not getting it. He's not getting credit for this. This is Ooh. not deserved. Oh wow! Oh, thank God! Wow! Literal skin of your teeth. Sir. I totally forgot those existed. I went. I went into. <laughs> I went. I went into. I went into Xenoblade Chronicles blind. All right. I, I well, that, that's an impressive feat though, because that is a fucking big ass game. I went into that all blind. Right. Where's my grenade you know, launcher? I went into that blind, and I somehow managed to not piss off fans with that playthrough. That's always... Oh, okay, so we're just phasing through shit, or are you just... Well, you, there's no aiming, you just lock on, right? So. Yep. Like, like you should never miss, technically. Uh, yep, but slow projectiles be a bitch. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was about to say, like, why are you missing? You're, you should be the devil may cry master. I I, I make the devil want to cry with how bad I am. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um. You I don't know, know how I did that right there, but that was sick and very helpful. Wow. Like that it was... got me really high up and just. I, I don't know how what, if I skipped anything there, but I certainly I know I'm supposed to be up here. So is all right. So here's the thing, like. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Devil May Cry fanatic, right? But I've always heard that 2 is, like, terrible. It's a bad is game. Is it... Okay. Okay. No, let me ask you this. Is it actually a bad game? Yes. Or is it, like, Dark Souls 2, where, like, compared to, like, the things around it, it's no. not good? No, 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 no. There are <laughs> genuine problems with DMC2. It is it playable? Yes. It is It oh. is playable. <laughs> but when your standard is playable, you know you're a shit creek without a paddle. Okay, so it's not it's not the Dark Souls 2 problem. We're like No, I wish it was. Dark Souls 2 like, is fucking fine. Where people where people hate Dark Souls 2, people call it a bad game because it's not as good as Dark Souls 1. But it's not actually a bad game. No. It's just not um So is all right. So here's the thing. Like <laughs> I'm not the biggest Devil May Cry fanatic, right? But I've always heard that 2 is, like, terrible. It's a bad is game. Is it... Okay. Okay. No, let me ask you this. Is it actually a bad game? Yes. Or is it, like, Dark Souls 2, where, like, compared to, like, the things around it, it's no. not good? No, 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 no. There are <laughs> genuine problems with DMC2. It is it playable? Yes. It is, it oh. is playable. 
<laughs> but when your standard is playable, you know you're a shit creek without a paddle. Okay, so it's not it's not the Dark Souls 2 problem. We're like no, I wish it was. Dark Souls 2 like, is fucking fine. Where people where people hate Dark Souls 2, people call it a bad game because it's not as good as Dark Souls 1, but it's not actually a bad game. No, it's just not. Um, Dark it's Souls got 1. It, yeah. No, Dark Souls 2 has some clear weakness versus Dark Souls 1. Well, that being said, I've grown a bit of an affinity towards Dark Souls 2 more and more as take, time goes on. But okay, it's got so some cool Devil shit. May Cry, Devil May Cry 2 is a legitimately bad game. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was made in I, four I, months. <laughs> you know, I've heard that. I think I've watched a video about it like a, a years ago. I don't remember. I do remember them having to crunch really hard to get that that shit piece. Can I ask how a fucking brain's a sign of chastity? I, it's a sign of chastity, right? Yeah. Uh, he really likes his boss refights. Yeah, like it's nice to know that like it wasn't just Bayonetta. Like he didn't just have like a brain lap for that one game. No, it was just in I general. Think he, he's... It, he does it to a much greater effect in this since each refight usually has some deviation that makes him better. Especially Nello Angelo. Because I like how, like, he, he doesn't, he's not really busting anything crazy out right now, but he, he definitely has a couple more tricks up his sleeve. I'm just kind of stuffing him a little bit. Like, that's, that's his new punish. He punishes way harder than he did before. Okay, fair enough. I guess I can, I can get behind that. I mean, the rival refights, I think, are, like, the best thing out of this genre. But, um... The basic boss refights? Not so much. No, 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 no. You gotta... If you're making a boss refight happen, it better be fucking good. And it better matter. I hope you don't die. I hope so, too. Ooh! Ooh, you stuffed the fuck... Oh, okay. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Oh wow! Damn! Down to the, down to the wire. This was not a short down. stage. So. Yeah. What? What? What are you not Really? A miserable pile of pixels, I guess. It's a miserable pile of these nuts. What the Dang. fuck just happened? Oh! Oh! oh. What is- that's like so much- oh, okay. It was in the- <laughs> I thought I floated in air, it was that fucking fire. <laughs> Shotgun. Wow. Yeah, that's- that's an embarrassing way to go. You're Bye, Felicia. Your- your fi your final hit is... Just a little shotgun. shotgun to the face. Yeah, that's- that's embarrassing. That's a rough life, be... that Nello Angelo. Yeah, that's tough. That's fucking tough. The, de the devs had a very, very uh, uh, rudimentary plan for you. You did not follow any of their orders. But I made it, and that's what matters. And it was a C. 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 They saw me. Yeah, 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 you gotta see. Like that's not. I only that's continued not bad. once. Yeah, you only. Yeah. Well, no, you continued twice. No, it was one. It was twice. No, it was once on Nilla. You. you, you... Mm, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, there's a hint at what's to come. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Sewer levels. Because... But why does every game do this? Yeah, they're they're all really bad. They're all really bad. Like, I don't... So I don't how do you understand. think this controls right now? I'm sorry, but I just... I need to ask. Uh, oh god, you're in first person. This can't possibly. Why are you in first? Is that a choice? Are you choosing to be in I'm first person? Nope, I'm swimming. But why? But why in first person? I don't. I. You know. Can you? Why do? Stuff? Why can I not move forward by holding up? Why do I have to hit X to swim? 
Why is the controls inverted while I'm swimming? There's a lot of good questions to be had here. None of them okay. get an answer. All right, look, look. The controls inverted thing, we uh, still... Those were the time. We still, as a society, can't decide on whether pressing up should be up or pressing up should be down. It should always be up unless you're flying something. <laughs> and it has to be a normal-ass aircraft for it to not be. Oh, God, you definitively have set the record straight. <laughs> That, that is that is that is factual. That is that is canonical. That is how gaming should be. I've I've done it. I've answered the question. Anybody, but you know what? I won't I won't slander my my inverted brethren because a true evil exists. Anybody who inverts left and right, you are definitely evil. Like there is something wrong. Like genuinely wrong. It's pretty dope. Like when that thing fucks up, it fucks up in a pretty. Ow! 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 ow. Oh my oh, god! Oh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what the? F All right. You know what? Game, game ain't taking you seriously, bro. Suck a dick. I hate those things. Wow. I don't. Wow. You know what? Wow. That's fine. That's a price I will pay. I will uh. give up those fucking orbs if it means that just... motherfucker disappears. He took he he took the L, and then was like, "You're not getting these orbs, though." Okay, I defended the ship. I should be able to just interact with it and go through. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Griffin, round that? two. All oh, right, Griffin. You know, so great. We have to do it a this, second time. This game only has like five boss fights. <laughs> Believe me, Griffin <laughs> is not the issue, and neither, honestly, was fucking. I don't remember the spoiler. Oh. I don't remember the Lord Spider-Man's name. Does this guy also have a fucked up technique where he just, you know, fucks you for... for Ooh. flying? <sighs> no, but I, I really was sleeping on this! What the fuck?! Uh. Yeah, no, you you slept. Holy you, you. shit! Wow, that's that's disgusting. Air raid is that fucking is, crazy. That is disgusting, sir. That is that should be a sin. So, are you ready for the longest stage in the game? Oh, okay. So was it like 15 minutes? Something like that. They really, they really just, they really just like, we're like, well, we don't, we can't, the P, our, our console can't handle having one continuous world, so we'll just. I appreciate it though, because it lets you do saves and then reload if you game over. Yeah, okay, I can see the benefit. I, I have a feeling that was by design for shit like that. It, it does, it allows a cadence in gameplay that's both cruel, but also like. By the way, now oh, we're, okay. we're underwater again, by the way. Why why first person? Like Because there is no god. Uh, clearly, hey, at oh least we god. have a gun now. Oh. But when I hold the gun down, I can't look up and down. So I have to look <laughs> and then <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh, but it lets me strafe. It starts to actually honestly the closest I could describe this to is it feels a little like the dash from Doom Eternal if it was completely on an incontrollable butt fuck of a character. Why? I mean not take control is pretty good, but not in this case. No. No, I'm sorry, tank and tank, tank controls were never good. I'm sorry, I'm not. Okay, there's <sighs> no, this doesn't use tank no. controls though. No. This I is just a no, weird I thing. Yeah, I'm still standing by what I said. There's no such thing as good tank controls. By the way, level's over. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey! Smoking sexy like, style! Like, why? You could have had more. Like, <laughs> I'm glad what? it didn't. It's all first person. That that was not a thing that Sony already allowed. Oh, God, I do have to... Wait, no. I don't have to fight him. Take my orbs! Wow. I'm out! Wow, wow, you you pay you paid in-game <coughs> currency to skip. I, I 
the original microtransaction. Actually, I think that fight was there just to give you 200 orbs if you didn't have them. Oh, never mind. Assuming this is in fact where I'm supposed to be going, which I'm pretty sure it is because there's the room with the... Sh I got the thing for those two shields um, towards the beginning of... Um, okay, yeah, I went the wrong I, way, but I can avoid I don't... I don't ever want to open... I've attempted to open a PS4 controller. I will never do that shit again. It's that bad. was a nightmare. Uh, surprisingly enough, the uh, Switch Pro-Con is actually pretty easy. Oh, cool. That's I've heard the Joy-Cons are a fuck show. No, the, no, the, God, the Joy-Cons are actually terrible. Like, here's the thing, right? Like, they are a fuck to take apart. But at least you can do so without, like, accident, without destroying the device in the process. Yeah. They're still... Here's the thing. Nintendo is still an asshole, but at least they're better than Apple. Yeah. You mean the things where you have to use heat... Actually, most LCD screens, you have to use uh, like yeah. a heat gun of some sort to yeah, get the so like, adhesive I, I Look, I'm not going to sit here and say that Nintendo... like the, No, the Joy-Cons are an ass to take apart, which is why I hope I never have to. Um, surprisingly, I haven't had drift issues, believe it or not. I'm really surprised. As calm, as prevalent as that shit seems to be, I've not had a single one of my devices do it. Tom got knocked with a fucking one of his controllers got a drift. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just a bummer, you know. I've avoided it, but what I did do was fall on my Switch once, and Ugh. finally, so my left green Joy-Con, which unfortunately was exclusive to Splatoon 2 in Japan. Uh, I imported that. Well, rather, it wasn't just Japan. The EU had it too. Uh, so j what happened is I had G pick it up for me and mail it to me. And um, I uh, fucking <laughs> you wrecked it, that shit. Yeah. I well, it didn't break right away. But what it did do was start to weaken the grip that like the button you have to press in the back of it to remove the Joy-Con. Uh, yeah, that 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 does it. So over time, it slowly got easier and easier to pop out to the point where now I don't even have to press the button for it to come out. And whoops. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But like, uh, if you want to talk about like the worst consoles that take apart, uh, oh boy, let's let's have that conversation. Uh, S uh, SNES, fucking miserable. If you ever want to see, if you ever, if you ever like genuinely want to like confirm that Nintendo lives on the moon, take apart a GameCube. Oh. It's the, fly. Ga the, <clears throat> the GameCube, I can only assume, and I don't know for sure. You know, I'm just a dude. I don't know. I don't work at Nintendo. I'm not, and I'm not an engineer. You know, I didn't finish college for that matter, so I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I genuinely believe, you know those Mishka toys, the ones with like the little, the, 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 you, it's like a, it's like a, a girl and you take the top off, there's another girl inside, you take that one, another girl inside, it's like that. Yeah. It's like that. It's like, oh. it's a giant, it's a giant layered cake, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Hang on. I think there's something else. To, oh, never mind. Well. Like at least. I oh, no. What did you do? <laughs> it's time for the third griffin fight. Of course. <sighs> of course, because, you know, so great we did it three times. No, the GameCube's an absolute fucking nightmare to take apart, and I would never suggest... Now, certain people I know say the PS2 is a pain to take apart. I think the PS2 is a fucking cakewalk. I've never heard many people say the PS2 that bad. Uh, to take apart? No, it's not. Okay, it depends on how. It depends on what your goals are. My goal was to remove the guts from the shell so I could clean the shell. Oh. Huh. So yeah, I guess it. Yeah, if you're just. I'm guessing that's just the top layer, so it's not like that deep of a uh, cutting it out into. Come on. I like to not fight bosses. It's super fun. Please come down here. Oh. 
I don't think I'm supposed to be... Oh, no, I'm definitely... Uh, maybe I can be up here? I don't know. This is weird. I've never been up here before. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be up here yet. Oh! Oh! Please go away. You're really annoying to fight. Bye, Felicia. Sacrifice made. I'm here. Whether or not you think I'm ready, totally different story. We're, we're already going. So you, you're ready oh, or shit. not, here we go. So oh, okay. you were so talking already... about, and literally I have reminded myself every single fucking day since we did our first session. So you were talking about opening PlayStation 2 cases where a lot of people say they're hard, but you don't think they're that bad. Is, but were you talking about like it's harder to get into the nitty gritty instead of just like like the shell is easy to get through so you can get it like all cleaned up and good? but the nitty gritty is hard. I'm so proud of myself for not fucking forgetting that's where we left off at. Oh, so what was I talking about now? Remind me. Your place, uh, the, PS2 the PS2 cases, that they're they're not that hard to take apart and people bitch about them a lot. Oh, uh, oh, PlayStation 2s, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're not, like, it depends on how badly, how much you want to dig into it. Like, if your goal is just to extract the guts out of the shell and then clean the shell, it's not that hard yeah. but if you're trying to like Modern. dig into like the actual like bits and guts of the of the system itself and like pull apart shit then no it sucks it's i don't think it's that bad yeah okay. i don't think it's that i think people who say it's that bad have not taken apart a gamecube huh maybe no uh, it's not working my dude uh, that's... i don't think you're getting it this is i can interact with it. oh yeah i can interact with it I probably should have tried interacting with it. <laughs> you probably should have. What wouldn't have hurt? Video what, games you know, tend you know? to have to inter you have to interact with things sometimes. I'm, it's yeah, it's, a, it's an interactive has that media. Same issue. Uh, okay. It's it's really tricky. And like Final Fantasy X is definitely the worst cr like criminal of you have to interact with it. <laughs> it's like it's like all right, I have the solution to the puzzle, but I can't solve the puzzle until I interact with the puzzle. What? How? I how? What do? How to, yeah, I know how to solve the puzzle. I have the solution to the puzzle, but you won't let me solve the puzzle until I've acknowledged that I can't, until I have not, I don't know the, what? <laughs> oh. oh. Hell? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this shit. Got dark and spooky in here. Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit. The way is, it's cursed wonderful. <laughs> fucking lame fan, ass. Fan, fantastic. Uh, fan fucking tastic. Doo -doo. Oh, hey. Look, this thing's mysteriously here now. So I found out on, on a weird PS2 emulation topic, I found out that uh, something about Persona 4. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't, I hadn't really played Persona 4 much, if at all. Last prior to me playing it, I know, I know, Tom said the same thing. Uh, <laughs> um, prior to me playing it now, and I didn't. And I was playing it, and I'm like, why does it seem so, um, foggy? Or, like, weird, like, it just, it just looked weird when I was playing it. Like, like, when you're not in, like, the dungeon. The dungeon seemed just fine, but everything else always seems, like, um, it's weird. But then I started looking up, like, people playing the game, and I'm like, okay, that's just how the game looks. Yeah, it's a pretty foggy game. Yeah, I'm like, okay, that's just how the game looks. That's, that's not an emulation issue, that's just... That's just the game. Yeah. That's some that's, days are uh, super foggy. No, that's just the way the game looks. 
And I'm like, okay, cool. I will go back and I will continue playing it then. It's not going to be like just the way the game looks, though. Is it? I can feel it. No, I think it is. Oh, okay. Is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought no, you were no, like, there's think... some weird shit that's going on for you. And it's like, no, yeah. no. I, I look like I said, I looked up YouTube videos of people playing Persona 4. And I'm like, okay, that's just the way the game is. And they, these weren't like recent videos. These were like, you know, circa 2010. It's probably <laughs> videos. <some like. laughs> videos of Persona 4, which told me, okay, so they're 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 clearly playing this off of uh, a PS2. Not cool. Yeah. Not, yeah, or just not even. In, like, I don't know if you know, the emulation was not great back in like 2010. Yeah, I guess you're right. I wasn't super into no, the PlayStation 2 emulation scene, so honestly, not super familiar. It's pretty good now. Oh, yeah, like I've, I've dabbled now just because of stuff like HT randomizer and whatnot. It's fantastic now. It's more. I've put so much effort into building this emulation station now that it's like, oh, I can just. Just fucking kick back and. I could just do this and not have to. and not potentially pay more money for more physical PS2 games. By the way, boss time. Boss time? Oh. So, you remember the stories of of the uh, spider and how nightmarish it was? Yeah. Anybody who beat the game, this is what they actually remember. This is Nightmare. The name oh. is apt. Oh. Oh, this, this took a turn for the worst. By the way, I gotta fight the spider boss again. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. We're, uh, we're back to this again. We're back, we're back to this again. This is... Oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. You got it. Oh, okay. Oh, you ain't oh, fucking Oh, hey, done. Oh, you ain't fucking around. It's done now. Oh. Yeah. I can I can tell you if it's weaker or if punches just really do a good job. Yeah, okay. you melted that health bar. Priorities. Fuck away right, from it. Right. Gotta get my ass. Also, that does do a lot of damage, but... It's gotta activate light. Gets the boy up. And now you can actually fight him. This dude sucks a weird ass. Fucking video game. Oh, okay. Good. That went smoothly. Do you want to know a PS2 game that's that that I don't believe should be worth nearly as much as it's worth? Which? Uh, God Hand. Why the fuck is God Hand so expensive? Have you looked it up recently? No. How bad is it now? Uh, you sure you? You sure? Bring you it on. Know? You, you know, you know, I can't do these without talking about. No, I know. Without talking about this kind of stuff, because you know Everything this is where I thrive, really right? Easy. Yeah. Just fuck me up, fam. Um, okay. So, um, we're gonna go with the most recent sold, right? Yeah. This was recently sold. Uh, before I go any further, it's complete. Uh, complete inbox. Okay. Okay. This was sold April 17th of this year. $199. Why? Uh, Some people prefer yeah. it physically. I get it. Yeah, unfortunately, the collecting bug, man. I'm really glad that's and what like I'm I getting said, out like of. And like I said, we, like I said, we all have our bugbears. We, we all have that. We all have that one game that is like, I want to own that. We do. Earthbound was slightly. Earth, Earthbound was not one. Earthbound was just one I just happened to have fallen to my lap. Oh, I'm sorry, the opportunity to fall into my lap. Yeah, sometimes when you get the opportunity to strike, you just gotta fucking strike. Well, it, it was on, like, uh, Facebook Marketplace, right? Yeah. And uh, this guy had it listed there, and I messaged him, and I'm like, yo, um, any word on if you've uh, had any good offers on this Earthbound? He goes, nah. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll get back to you, and uh, I'm probably gonna be the one to buy. But I'm like, I'm like, don't, I'm like, obviously if you can sell it before, then sell it. Yeah, don't hold so, it, like, it for me. But right. Just... So like a week, a week later, I'm like, okay, look, I can buy it. I can't get it at this. I can't get it like today, but like within the week, I can buy it. I'm like, and he's like, for real? I'm like, yeah. He goes, all right, I'll I'll pull down. I'll I'll claim the ad as sold if you're serious. 
So I drove like an hour and some change out to Cincinnati. Okay. Uh, dude, dude was, this dude was intense, dude. Oh, was this the collector um, you met? Yeah, this dude had like boxed copies of like dozens of games. Like, oh. He was intense. His whole thing, he was trying to find a way to get rid of this stuff, but he was like, he's like, it's so hard to sell these expensive titles. Yeah, he's, he's like, when you hit a point, they just, you gotta freely hunt. He's like, he's like, I had that Earthbound sitting there for almost half a year. Jesus Christ. He's like, he's like, nobody, nobody was taking it. Weird. Oh, I'm guessing, was he somebody who only wanted to do it locally, too? Uh, yeah, when it came to, like, his really expensive ones, he didn't feel comfortable shipping them. Okay. He did for a few people, but he didn't really want to because there's a lot of liability there. Okay, right? that makes like, sense. That's understandable. That, that would also make it harder to sell, too. But, like, also, I get it, seeing how I've currently had a copy of... Did you know Soul Hackers is super fucking valuable now? Yep. Yeah, I sold a copy, and guess what was the one game to get lost in the mail? Ooh. The guy, the guy was cool enough about it. I'm not sus. Like, he helped me get through the process to get my money back and all that jazz. So it genuinely, and he also said if it comes back to me to sell it, I don't just tell him like sell it at a higher price because it's already worth more. <laughs> so like, I'm willing to believe him, and it no, it did not in fact ever show back up. Okay, so it might it's actually it's be gone. lost. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's it got lost, lost in the COVID shuffle. Fucking bummer, you know, but you know, that happens. Yeah, so it's yeah, he was he was like, um he was like, Yeah, I remember distinctly because we planned this out. I was like, all right, uh, I get off of work at like five and I'll drive out to Cincinnati to your place. And we'll, uh, it's really nice, really cool dude. Nice. So I drive out there, you know, I open it up, I check the board, make sure it's legit. I didn't I, did, I doubted it. I didn't think it wouldn't be legit, but I wasn't going to spend almost two hundred dollars on a single cart and not at least do my due diligence. Yeah, no, they're the they're, they're cr <laughs> you cross a line after a certain value. I was like, I'm gonna check the board, make sure the board checks out, and it checked out. And once he told me how he obtained it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That uh, that uh, that checks out. Okay, this mm. is clearly. A legit of this the way the way he obtained it i was like yeah that's that's too elaborate of a story for me not for me to believe you faked it you know i gotta know what happened uh okay so his so what he told me was that he obtained a lot of his collection in the really early 2000s when like uh like when it's super, people like, were starting to remember but not yeah, stuff was like super duper cheap, and he, I guess he went to a Goodwill and they had an entire like display case full of like cartridge games Fuck they were getting rid of. Yep. So he went there and was like, I'll buy the whole case. So he bought everything. And uh, one sec, I want to tell, I want to tell you something. You're gonna love this. Oh. I'm gonna get up from my seat so I can grab it because you're gonna love this. Oh, I forgot about this room. Puzzle room. All oh, right, I need Alistair. So, so one of the things I care about is history, kind of. It's, a, it's history to some degree. Yeah. So he bought all these at Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time, what they would do is they would mark her on the price onto the cartridge that they were selling the cartridge for. Yep. Right? So this cartridge has on it I never removed the marker because this was too funny and I couldn't bear to remove it and it has a story behind it. So I just said, fuck it. It's just going to have marker on it for the entirety of the time I ever own it. Uh, it has on it $3.40. Oh! <laughs> like, because there was an era where Goodwill did not know, they did not what give they a had. fuck about the value of any of this shit. No, so he bought all this stuff and oh. had so much of it so it Fuck has yeah. three it has three dollars and forty cents on it, which is what he paid for it that's fucking i've heard so many stories from people i know who are collectors who are like yeah no i got into it when i was young like back in high school and you when you could just go to goodwills and they would just have shit loads of games and i'm like fuck man yeah no the, that was a very different era so oh. it was so i bought this and uh Surprisingly enough, it still has saves on it from the prior owner. Nice. Not him. 
It's not him. The guy he who openly, bought it. Yeah, I asked him if he had if he had ever played this one. He goes, I Bunch don't think I played that cartridge. He goes, how many hours is on the save? Because me and him still talk. Me and him are still me and him are still talking. I'm like, he's like, how many hours are on the save? Just don't mind me asking. I'm like, about eighty. He goes, no, nah, it wasn't me. <laughs> he's like, yeah, that's nah. a long that's a long fucking Earthbound playthrough. <laughs> yeah, all the characters are like maxed out. So that is a well loved fucking cart. I think that's gonna be a. Oh yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, it's fucking game time. Oh shit. I'm not sure if you've noticed something. Oh, last time we fought Griffin, we killed him. By the way. Yeah. Um, the one where you oh. had to leave in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm. I'll just say at this point you have noticed a trend. We fought, and every time we fought a boss, we kill him on the third. This is the third uh, Angelo fight. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, they come back. I mean, the rule of threes. I yeah. guess it applies to video games too. Also took his fucking helmet off. Oh, I know that face. Oh, you know that face. Oh, I know that face. Oh, yeah. But why is that face here? <laughs> Beginning of the fucking sibling rivalry as far as we were concerned. So that will get answered in a different game. I was about to say, I don't think it gets answered in this game. Nope. I mean, they technically even, it does, just because, I mean, they, he serves Mundus. Obviously, something happened even, with Mundus. They didn't even know for sure this game... No, I think they knew this game was going to do well. You don't end up having your game placed on the back of the console. Without some box. idea that maybe you got a fucking hit on your hands. Right, like... Like oh. this, this... Ooh. This and Dark Cloud was listed on the back, was on the back of the PS2 box. You don't do that unless you're fairly sure. Are you gonna just pick up, oh, you're actually using a yellow orb? Yeah. A few moments later. Okay. All right, yeah. Jump, that's it, just jump. Don't, no, I, I, would, I wouldn't roll. roll, I would jump. I wouldn't roll. I would just jump. Yeah. Grenade. Another grenade. Okay. Jump's not as good against that one. Yeah. It's decent against it looks, this one. It looks like you just kind of have to pick and choose which one you want to roll and jump off. Roll and jump against. Oh. No! Not again. Oh, oh! The grenade! Wow. Woo, I thought I died from that fucking hit. Wow. Why, why'd you actually die, though? I'd be so sad. Oh, I hope you didn't die. I sincerely hope the game isn't about to fucking rob you. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. And that's how you confirm it's Virgil. The other half of the necklace. Mother! Virgin, Happy birthday. Wow. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound at all like anything that happened in their lives. Like, I feel like that got retconned, them having happiness ever. Yeah, I was about to say, that them having, like, a happy childhood just doesn't seem... Although it's technically what happened. I mean, they were not they were young when Virgil's mom died and their mom died, but... Yes, master. And then a one, and like a one. wet and, fart. Speaking and of you wet and, farts. And me and you were the ones who primarily did that. Yup. This is... I'm just gonna assume, maybe not. Oh. Ah! Well, at least you can't have fall damage in this <laughs> game. Just wasn't expecting it. Right. Just, just cut it. Don't, don't keep it. Don't do this to people. I gotta cook the philosopher egg. And oh, hey, nightmare's here to say hi. He, we paid for this. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Nick paid for this. I've paid for this multiple times. I bought, I literally bought this game the day it came out. I don't regret that. This game is fucking crazy. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it well. Yeah, I feel that way about a lot about Devil May Cry. Like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, cool. Let, let me be out of camera again. That's fine. I don't want to look cool while I'm playing this game. So, uh, to veer off a of Devil May Cry for a second, you, you pretty much have, uh, you pretty much, I, I was, uh, looking up stuff about the, uh, about, uh, Metal Gear 5. Yeah. And you, you pretty much, uh, made your peace with not liking that game. Oh, correct? God, I made my peace with that ages ago. <laughs> that game's dog shit. Oh, wow, wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Great. That's, great that's example. Great example. This is this is the biggest problem I've always had. So you're telling me, the dork with all the gun twirling, and MGS3 is the same guy as the guy I work with in MGS5. Yes. Word. Final weapon. Nightmare beta. It's not that good. You're you're, you're, like, I don't buy that. Like, there has to be another I explanation. Do. I mean, he has to get badass at some point, because, like, proper Ocelot fucking rules. Yeah, I guess. I guess. See, that, that's the thing people, that's the thing people tell me, is, like, well, you have to, you have to kind of, like, accept that at some point. I'm like, do I, though? No, you don't. You don't have to accept shit. I that could be the, his, like... This. Oh yeah, these boys are nasty. I said this. I said this during our last Wait. sit down session. Hold the phone. Was that a fucking JoJo's reference? Oh. oh he just slapped a stone mask on his face. I know a JoJo's reference when I see one. That was a JoJo's reference. That was absolutely a JoJo's reference. So I had to stop the presses when we got a JoJo's up here. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause here's like I said before in our last sit down, Kojima can write a coherent, tight story. Mostly. Like, I, I do no, wonder how I, much how much reigning in he probably had to have during Metal Gear Solid because he wasn't a proven name yet. I mean, he was getting he was pretty proven, but he wasn't like again, hyper superstar form Koji. Again, Snatcher. I mean, it didn't do great in America, which is a fucking crime. Don't yeah, get me wrong. But again, yeah, but okay. But who looks at a tight, really written story like that and then says, okay, my pro the problem, the reason why Snatcher didn't sell is because the story wasn't fucking convoluted enough. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I can agree with that. <laughs> like, 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 the conversations about writing, no, but nobody, looked, nobody looked at fucking Snatcher and said, you know what, this could use a lot more complicated aspects. Oh, thank God, Elf. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's clearly a Kojima game. It's Kojima uh, through and through when Kojima had to have a little bit of coherency in his shit. It's, Ko it's Kojima purely for the fact that, like, there's, like, an entire, like, hour-long fucking cutscene at the end. 80, yeah, fuck me, man. That's not... I'm not happy with that. No, you get that done ASAP. Whoa. Yeah, it's, it is worth, it is absolutely, like, Ooh. a worthwhile... A variable ruined room. Mother! Hey, Mom. Help me. You know, Oedipus would be very disappointed in you, Dante. No, he wouldn't. Oedipus okay, would think you're you... spot on. Unless it's about the okay. dangers of doing it. I thought Oedipus liked to fuck his mom. Uh, no. No, no. He liked fucking the beautiful woman. He did not like the... Uh, he did not like finding out that that beautiful woman that he had been fucking and had kids with was his mother. Uh, the end of the story, the end of the story goes, go, says, has him going to his best friend saying, take care of my daughters because no one else is going to want them. And then he gouged out his own fucking eyes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Like, nah, that's fair. 
he, um, I, you know, I, I assume, I assume his feelings towards, you know, banging his mom was cool until he found out it was his mother. Ooh. It's starting to do more damage. As, as with most people who get, who are in an incestuous relationship. Oh, okay, we in there. Oh, God. We in there. Actually, hold on, grab me. I'd be down for being grabbed. That's not a grab! Is <laughs> that a grab? Because <laughs> the thing about, like, Hagel or Hagel is, like, that fight to me is so poorly done. It's so poorly designed. Now it's done! It's so poorly designed. Oh. Because it's, it's like, why introduce to me the overclock mechanic if the fight you introduce it to me in is more likely to just get me killed. Because fuck you. It's like, it's like, why do that? Oh, and to everyone who says that uh, 9S does not feel good to play as, you just don't know how to fucking use him. Yeah. Because a lot of his, uh, his, um, he only has like two buttons, but if you delay his buttons, then you get his other his other moves. You have to delay the button presses though. And people don't know that. So everyone just says that 9S is just a really poorly uh poorly designed uh 2B, which I'm like, no, no, he, he just doesn't play the same. But most of you didn't get that far to learn that. Pretty much. Anybody who says 9S isn't busted is just wrong. Yeah, Ninus, Ninus is really you good. You can do a lot life. of fucking damage. Because you remind Sorry, me of Ninus. my mother! You're, we're at the emotional climax of this game. Because you look like my mother. It, it, yeah, in fact, is. his actual line. No, there, again, really is. is. He's horny for a mom. The next time we meet, it won't be like this. <laughs> he sounds like he's pouting. He is pouting, dude. He wants to bone, but he doesn't want to bone her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any closer, you <laughs> devil! Like, think, think about this for a second. He has a hard on. Man, your mom got an lady. ugly face. Huh? <laughs> He's just like, you may have her face, but you'll never have her fire. And it's like, cuts to her face. It's like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Well, okay then. Oh, God. Now I'm gonna lie. Her face is a little rough. That's, uh... That's on Resident Evil 2 Jill Valentine. Them the high rules though. That was an ass fight. I'm I'm honestly surprised you didn't quit. I would have quit. You're gonna have fun editing that, you know that, right? Oh, it's or I've already figured it out. It's already uh, in my head. You're gonna have fun editing that bullshit, because you just had to sit through that fucking nightmare hell scene. Like I died like twice throughout this entire game, and then Nello Angelo 3 and fucking Nightmare, Nightmare 3. Three. Put a hard fucking stop. Actually, I caught like the opposite. People thought I edited too much back then, actually. Which is weird to imagine. Um, I'll tell, okay, I'll tell you the editing I did and you can decide if it was too much. How about that? Um, okay. Oh. Whoop. So, for like eight, one, oh, okay, you need to focus, dude. Okay. Nah, it's dead. All right, for like eight, oh. what I, what I decided to do was I would cut out all the times I went into my mini to fuck with junctions. That's a good call. That's a good edit to make. Like maybe if you do some big things that di fundamentally change out a character. Oh my God, let me out. Oh my God, it's it's taking your, oh wow. This. <laughs> I guess. I genuinely. Uh, uh Bro, you gonna die. Okay. Out, let go. Okay. Oh my God, dude, you're almost. Please don't be dead. another fight. There is. Of course there is. Oh God, you're so dead. You're not getting out of it, bro. You got the devil. You got the DT. I don't have DT gauge. God. You are. Now there's DT gauge. You are threading the fucking needle. Is your rockets even doing anything? I don't know. Okay, yeah, they are. I guess so. Okay, come on. Oh, give me some health, man. Off. Oh, 
green orbs never looked so good, even if it was a small guy. I caught I caught shit for editing that out because I did it universally. I don't um, why I just did, do people really want to see you fucking junctions? Yeah, yeah, that was a thing. People wanted to know what people wanted to see it. They wanted to know exactly what I was doing. But I right. didn't think it but the thing is I cut it because it was like I was spending upwards of like fifteen to twenty minutes. It's like junctioning's not a sh and I've only played like a little bit where I've actually understood what I was doing and like junction's not short. Yeah, like I'm not I wasn't just in there for a few minutes. I think people misunderstood how long I was in the junction screen. It's like I would go into I would I would say I'd be like, alright guys, I'll be right back and I mess around with some stuff in the menus and then I cut back to when I was finished. But like pe I don't think people understood like I was in those menus for like fifteen to twenty minutes sometimes. Like futzing around, moving shit around, trying to figure out the best combination. Like, that shit wasn't... That shit was tedious, so. It really is the struggle, like, getting the fucking... Finding out the right amount of editing to do for your content so it doesn't, like, feel like you're doing too much or too little, and it's like, it's always... It's such a hard balance to strike. And that's something I've tried to do now, but at the same time, it's like... Well, here's the thing, right? Because since... A lot of these games I play, I play on Switch, as you've probably noticed. Yeah. And that means I can take them with me. So nine times out of ten, I'm doing stuff off screen. Never been happier to first stage to not have a boss fight. <laughs> you know, they, they there's usually like off screen content, and one of the things that comes up is like, well, why didn't you show us this? Why? I'm like, well, because it's not good. It's not fun. Like side quests are only good and interesting the show if the side quest is interesting. Elsewise, I'm not going to waste my fucking time showing it. It's tedious. Yeah. But I don't deal with that as much. I think the thing I deal with most is like people who are people who are like, like how, like how do you keep continuity if in one video you're level 40 and the next video you're level 70. I'm like, all right, fair enough, but <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're right. I probably do fuck continuity up a lot when I do that shit. I just noticed her arms aren't shackled. I'm sorry to like, I just her. <sighs> God, she's dude, just it's, hanging dude, there. This... Like, she's just against the wall. Her arms aren't actually, like, the shackles aren't closed. <laughs> they yeah, zoom in on no, him! No, they're not. Why'd no, you zoom not. in on it? Yeah, don't. Dude, can you actually kill Dante? Maybe. Like, like can he actually die, though? Like, he survived hits, like, that would kill any reasonable being. Maybe he can? Like, I don't know. I, I've not, I, like, we've never seen him decapitated. Like, I mean, I'm not talking, like, gameplay-wise, because gameplay, of course, there has to be, like, a fail state. No, I'm but, saying, like, like, can Dante die? Yeah, I think if he got Dante... decapitated, that would probably be it for him. But then there's this bullshit. Like, oh yeah, that killed her and was going to kill you, but now you're just deflecting it. <laughs> I miss voice acting from this era. It's so oh, perfectly God. cheesy. God, these cutscenes have not, uh... It's like the one time Dante is in FMV and he looks like but dog shit. Why, dude? The fucking in-game shit looks... Why do they do this? Because it looked good on a CRT TV at fucking 360p. Fuck yeah. And then yeah, they didn't please. save it at anything at a higher for format, because why would they? We're never going to go in uh, 720p. You got a hole in your chest, dude. That sucks. No wonder he's so angry all the time. I mean, I'd be pretty pissed off, too. Those eyes. No, like here's the thing. So many of these games, like the in game, the in game shit, it looks so much better than the cutscenes. It's like it's weird. It's like at that point, why not just do all your shit as just in game? Infinimother. Oh, God. 
damn it. Trish. Silence! I created Trish so that you would have an Oedipus complex. More mother! Mother? Mother. Uh, <laughs> mother, right? Mother. Let me see her. Seek her yeah. camo, mother. Okay. All right, we're we're borderline on some bay on some bayonetta shit right now. You know that, right? So where do you think it started? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, on some real shit, some of 9S's flying segments were actually kind of challenging. Oh, yeah. Like, Slap. Oh. <laughs> Dante, Dante's dead. Rip. Oh no no no! I guess not. Nope, he's just I standing mean, up through the fireballs. I mean, you know, I guess, I guess if you could be impaled by a sword and pull yourself up, fireballs is just no real big deal. Like at that point, you can survive that. I mean, I was gonna say you might want to like. Not step in lava. That would be great. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, well, you know. That was so unceremonious. You know, if you're going to die, I guess that. that makes this sense. is why I really wanted to have one try again, Crystal. So I'm frankly not good enough to not get through that fight without taking a ton of damage. You know, it's the honesty. I appreciate that. Eh, anything but honest. Oh, right. I forgot his sword is beam sword now. Oh. I should probably not be fighting him in the lava. That's, that's not kind of... Yeah, that's no, not. you're not... He's not low enough health, and you don't have enough health to just be doing goofy shit like that. I know you think you do, but you don't. No, I, I, I don't think... I don't think that was how it was supposed to be fought. Oh, though, that DT, though. Yeah, that DT, though. Get that DT. Yeah, get this, get this D. There nice. we go. Motherfucking Woo. video games. Just had to try again once. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. God do. is dead. I'll take I'll take my DMC Devil May Cry. Thank you very much. No, that's uh, don't don't ignore the rest of the series. Like, definitely, oh, no, do not, not ignore DMC three. Do not ignore DMC four, and do not definitely do not ignore, ignore DMC five. Okay. But but ignore but ignore DMC two. Yeah, you can you can ignore honestly one and two. Like one's classic, but it you know. Like this is the emotional climax of the movie. Uh, and now you too. Movie? Uh, this is this is the scene, isn't it? You know this it. This is the scene. Uh, here it comes. Uh, here it comes. Oh, I'm ready. My body. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light. Yeah! God, that, voice crack, that voice crack, though. And the tears, the quivering of the lamps. Oh, oh my God. Dante don't cry over nobody. That's not true. Dante has feelings. He cries. Dante's not afraid to cry. Did his tears bring her? Tell me, her his tears, tears did not bring yeah. her back. Cows cry. Ducks cry. Actually, no, they're really more quack. This was my mother's. Devils cry. That's just a fact. Now I'm giving it. It was my mother's, and since you look like my mother, you mother. Can Wait, no, don't get rid of that. What are you fucking doing? Dante, no. Bad. That is not something... Okay, so you have no idea what Dante has done. In oh, theory. Oh, no. Oh, no. What has he done? So that's really not something you should just leave lying around. Sparta's kind of a... Pretty much a biological weapon. The self-destruct sequence.
sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. I, I gotta sit like, down and replay like, five before I make that assumption because like no, I thought six was more least, fun. No, but at least you can laugh at five. Six actually takes itself seriously. Five takes itself seriously, and you no, can take not. the piss out of six real easy. No, five does not. Every Resident Evil game takes itself seriously. That's part five of their charm. No, no, you, 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 st you, you lose the right to take yourself seriously when I walk, when I, when I, cru when I cruise on to a, when I cruise on to the mainland and I'm fighting dudes in fucking African war paint. <laughs> me. I'm sorry, you, you, you lose that right. Oh no man. Uh, when, when you, when you have literal people, I, when you have people literally chucking spears at me, you lose the right to be taken seriously. I would have paid good money to see your initial fucking reaction to that bullshit. I was like, oh, we're, we're actually chucking spears right now? By the way, he's not actually dead yet. All right, rule of three, he's got it. I mean, this won't, actually, I guess it is technically three, because there's that you immediately fight too. Oh, yeah! Oh, my. Oh god, is this a score? This is like a scorpion fight, spider fight. Like this, this is giving me spider vibes. I don't like this. Besides, there's no place to go. Look around. This will be your burial ground. This has this has like a level of like voice acting that like House the Dead did on arcades. Yeah. No, Resident Evil Six like. Leon segment, wow. good, right? Like I still think it's Leon the best segment part of the is, yeah, Leon segment. I don't have an issue with. Chris's segment, I have issue with, but I just treat it like it's another third person. It's Gears of War. Call it a day. Yeah, it's Gears of War four. But yo, that third story though, fuck that noise. You know, there's five Gears of War now, right? Jesus Christ! Is it <laughs> he said Gears of War four. I'm like, wait, do you not know? Apparently, Gears 5 is actually fucking awesome. I guess. I guess. No, like, actually, unironically, apparently, it's a really good game. I don't doubt it. Mother! The Gears of War games have always been, like, serviceable. Yeah. Yeah, she is, she is fine. Of course she is. Oh, there's another... Yeah, but, why, uh, but, but why give me a power-up so late, though? Like, what's the point? Because it's not a power-up. You just uh, pour into him. Looks like we have a winner. <laughs> God, you would have been better off just keeping it in an engine. This looks terrible. <laughs> it looks so goofy. This looks so bad. Keep it an engine, dude. Jesus. You would have saved money. It's also quieter for some reason. And then cuts right back to engine. Goodbye. God, it, it, it looks back, it looks infinitely better. To my son, will ya? Wait, Dante has a son? I think he's assuming he'd procreate with mother. Uh Trish. I no, don't, don't like don't. the romantic undertones! She looks don't. like your mom! She looks like your mom! <laughs> like, literally, modeled to look like your mom to confuse you! But not like this! I'm pretty sure Mundus didn't expect this! He's probably like, I gotta put this freak down! That might be the only reason he wants to put Dante out, because he's like, yeah, why is Dante getting, like, I mean, happy it's, vibes? It's because of Sparta's son. I mean, it's, it, 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 it unfortunately isn't the fact. This was just a happy little accident. No, there's nothing happy about... about uh, a discovered Oedipus complex? Yeah, no. No, when you're at the point when you're thinking about... Uh, Procreate when you think at the point of wanting to bang someone that looks like your mother, I think you. The I, fuck? We humans never give up. 
Are you ready? Yes. Why does he say we humans? I don't fucking know. He never talks like, like this again. He gets his shit together. Like we humans? Like what? Does he not think he's a human? Does he just does huh. he not know that he's? He knows he's, he's half I'm, devil. He's just I don't know. He plays up why his say we side. humans? He's a fucking Let's weenie. Our Trish is literally not a human. By the way, we're not done yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. This is dumb. <laughs> like, like oh. I'm all about getting your money's worth out of gameplay. But no, they uh, they could have cut, uh, like, fucking seven stages out of this game. And it would have been better for it. Ow. Yeah, like, at some point, you got to accept that, like, when it's over, it's over. You know what I mean? Like... Like, you can pound snatch all you like, but eventually you kind of need to nut and be done with it. Speaking of nutting and be done, being done with it, now we're done with the game. Oh. Oh. Bull! Nutted a plane out. But where did the plane come from? Uh, there was actually a room that had a plane chilling in it. Did we take the plane here? No. There, literally, there was a room chilling with a plane inside. We, we passed it like three or four times. It was just a plane on this it's island? It's or, a plane in a or room, a even. The sky yeah. is fair. I, know, I love that line because it's like, what are you talking about? Like oh, God. This is. Like, why? This was 2000, like, I think it's 2001. Let's not yeah, something like that. I'm so what? glad she got... I'm just glad Trish just changed completely. <laughs> of all characters. So they fuck, right? I they hope fuck? not! <laughs> I like it, to pretend Dante is a fucking virgin. Cause like that 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 led me to believe that they went back to his place and they banged. <sighs> fucking hope not. Oh, they banged. <laughs> 